In this video, I'm gonna give you some quick tips on maintaining your properties. So as a landlord, here's kind of how I approach maintenance on my properties. Step one, I usually set an annual date in my calendar to do a property inspection. So I had a tenant in my property for over two and a half years. So once a year, I would schedule a day each year to go in and look at the property just to do a quick walkthrough to make sure that the property is being maintained on the inside okay. Uh, so sometimes your tenants let things go longer than they should and things can get out of control to where it becomes a bigger problem than if they had just called you and told you initially up front. So if they're gonna keep things quiet sometimes until it gets real bad, you wanna know ahead of time. So scheduling this walkthrough tour is good to get inside a property and at least have a look yourself to make sure your tenant's not hiding anything that could affect the property and cause worse damage. So for example, if there's a mold problem that you don't know about in the basement or in one of the bathrooms, you know, the tenant might not care. They might live with the mold and it could just get worse and worse and worse. Or if there's a small leak that you find one of the pipes dripping and the tenant doesn't seem to care, but over time that leak can cause further damage to the property. So again, these are things you can discover by scheduling this once a year property inspection. Now it's up to you. If you wanna go more frequently every six months or every three months, you can choose how quickly you stop by it to have a look at the property. So this initial inspection is one way to make sure you keep good eyes on your properties to make sure they're being well taken care of by the tenant and anything that you notice wrong, you can have addressed by having someone come out and fix it before it gets even worse. Because once a problem usually gets pretty bad, that's when it becomes noticeable, that's when the tenant usually calls and complains, but by then, it's gotten pretty bad to the point that it's gonna cost even more to replace and more to fix. Now, a few other things with maintenance of the property. The exterior of the property should be maintained. This should be part of your lease that makes sure that the lawn's being mowed so that you're not getting any tickets or fines from the city government or the county government. Uh, sometimes they have laws about you know, keeping a property maintained, not letting the grass get taller than a certain height. Uh, also, making sure that trash is being kept nice outside the property, that they're not just like littering all over the yard and letting trash pile up and hoarding things on the porch and letting things just look like a complete hot mess at your property. So making sure that they're taking care of their trash and cleaning the property up by driving by maybe once a month or every couple months to make sure you're keeping eyes on the outside of the property as well in addition to doing the once a year inspection of the inside of the property. Now, if you own larger properties, let's say like an apartment complex, you can hire contracting services. So you can hire a lawn person to come do the lawn. You can hire someone to come do the snow plowing of the parking lot. You can hire a handyman or an on-site maintenance man that's pretty much on site or on call weekly to come out and do different things to the properties. So this is a little bit easier to maintain and manage a property when you've got staff that's hired and contracted as part of the annual budget that the operating expenses of that big property. But when you're self-managing like a single family, one unit rental property, it's more on you to be that handyman that goes out to the property and, and checks in on things and, and fixes things as needed. So in terms of maintenance of the property, we talked about doing the inspection for the interior, making sure you're driving by every now and then to look at the exterior to make sure that your tenant's keeping a good tab on the exterior of the property. Uh, ongoing maintenance, you should make sure you're replacing furnace filters, having your tenant replace those as well if you can't get to the property. But I recommend at least every three months making sure you're stopping by replacing furnace filters. That will help keep the life span of your furnace system lasting longer and this will help you you know avoiding maintenance and repairs on it all the time since the furnace can be quite costly uh, to have to fix also you want to make sure that you're having the plumbing systems maintained properly so uh, any sort of clogs uh, that start to happen you're having those addressed by a plumber uh, as backing up of water can end up causing damage to the property if it gets all over the floors for example Anything that happens to the roof, so if there's storm damage, uh, you know, anything like hail damage, you wanna make sure you're addressing the roof. Again, this is a structure that keeps the house dry. Anytime water starts getting into a property, it can wreak havoc quickly and cause lots of damage and lots of money. So making sure that you're maintaining maybe a, a roof inspection every couple of years to make sure the roof's still in good shape. Uh, this could be also help 
prolong the life of the roof and make sure that you're addressing anything as it comes up before it gets worse and causes problems to the inside of the property. So the key here is basically just making sure those major systems are inspected on a routine basis so that you can keep tabs on their condition and address any problems pretty quickly before they grow bigger into more expensive problems. So that's it for this video on some of my quick tips on maintenance, keeping an eye on the inside and outsides of your property and doing those routine inspections so that you can make sure things are covered and you're not letting things get worse.